Long, um, Zahab, GMS, Mississippi, Mississippi Camp, Spirit Wind Judah, giving our honor and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Shai, and also giving double honor to the apostles at Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect. All right, and today I just want to go into uh, an account uh, that I experienced, you know, being in this journey, in this journey, you know, called the truth, man. And, you know, I, I do lessons for brothers that have that internal conflict with you know with the, with the, within themselves you know that war that's inside of their mind because I'm a soldier in the trenches too a soldier you outside in the trenches and I understand that a lot of the battles are inside of our mind so I do these videos solely and particularly for that reason all right um I just want to go into an experience that I had you know I know brothers get on porn and although brothers might not Verbalize it because it's not something that you know you you just feel comfortable talking openly about. That might not be your spirit, but you know, you know, saying can use certain things against you, man. You know, I've had dreams that I was eating sweets. I was trying to let go of sweets because I was aware that I'm in a, a different spirit when I don't have all that junk in my system. You know, your, your pineal gland. Now I know that it's my pineal gland. It's not clogged up. All right, it's not calcified. And so when I would go a period of time without eating sweets, I have little dreams that, you know, I would eat sweets. But it's not a sin to eat sweets. All right. I've heard the apostles say, you know, during the Day of Atonement, they'll have a dream that they would eat, you know, junk food or whatnot. Or um, something to that effect. And it's not a, you know, and, and demons do that, man. It doesn't have to be a sin, but it could be something that take you out of that that ether, man. That, that, that's that fiery zone that the Most High wants you to be in, man. All right. So going back to um, pornography, you know, we know it's no law, no sin. But we also know that, you know, if it's something that's an impediment to you, man, you know, you have to actually have a house outside for strength. Back in like 2010, maybe it was 2009. Um, I wasn't watching, you know, porn. And and like that night I had a, a, a I was in a trance and I got attacked. And the demon was very strong and it was very powerful. And it was breathing behind my ear, like very aggressively. And it held me down and it made me watch a particular sex scene that I had actually watched in the real world before I stopped watching it, you know, before I stopped watching porn. And it actually played that scene vividly in front of my face while I was in the trance. And it was just breathing. So I had to ask myself, what is it that these demons and say want me to watch this stuff for because me as an individual that was an impediment to my spirit when you indulge in the, in the flesh like that it weakens the spirit is it's, the spirit in, in the flesh is oil and water they don't mix they're always against each other it's a seesaw effect if one is up then the other is down the key is balance all right um that was back in around 2009 2010 all right fast forward to around 2000 I want to say 12 all right um i was in i was sleep once again next thing i know i'm in a trance and the demon shows me a third person watching porn all right and next thing i know the demon show the demon opens the door and a swarm of flies come in i believe it's a swarm of flies and it's just a swarm of flies come in they're just all you know all around me and stuff then i wake up all right um but once again, the demon showed me watching porn. Even those are the two main events that I've had where a demon attacked me and showed me watching porn. All right. And it wanted me to watch porn. All right. And I've had dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of dreams where I, when I wasn't watching porn, that the demon would try to play it in my mind and turn me back on in, in my dream. And, you know, I'm a man and it's in your nature to be turned on by a woman. And I'm not I'm not ashamed of that. But Esau is is the ultimate Frankenstein. He's the he's a mad scientist. And he takes your drives <clears throat> and, man, and, and and manipulates you. And manipulates him. He manip manipulates your drive to want to reproduce. And the hours and hours and hours that you can spend immersed in the word, you're spending that time watching ass on the computer. The key thing is to try to find balance and get a real woman. Alright? 
Secondly, the key word that I used was spin, as in spend time, because time is a commodity. Time is money, and energy is a commodity. Energy, energy is money. So when you spend time and energy in the word, what happens? You become wiser, all right? Because you invested time and energy into the word. But if you spend time and energy into watching ass or playing Call of Duty, guess what? I'm not I'm not knocking you know Call of Duty, but just an example. What do you get from that? You have to ask yourself, what do I get if I immerse two, three, four, five hours at a time doing this stuff, man? Well, I can just go and get a harlot, just being frank. All right? But I, I know the pool that your flesh has on you when it comes to stuff like that and trying to let things go. And certain tools that are conducive to letting stuff like that go and, and getting that balance back in your spirit, Um, just certain tools that I'm, I'm about to name, a cold showers, all right. Intermittent fasting, all right. Um, going to the gym and working out, do a little cardio every day, all right. Um, going on a, a cleanse, maybe a, a week cleanse, maybe two weeks, but having mostly a plant-based diet to raise your so-called vibration, so you'll be more in the spirit and less in the flesh, all right. Because when you eat grounding foods. It brings that brings you back to your flesh, and you're ready to kind of you know want to do fleshly things. It's not bad, but you want to have eat high vibrational foods that keep you inside of your mind or inside of your spirit. All right. Um, but those are certain tools. The ultimate tool is praying and fasting. All right, because you know, say knows the effects of these things. All right. Um, there's a book called 1984 went by written by um, George Orwell and one of the things they use or that they, they pretty much foretold that they were going to use in the future which is now was pornography because it was going to keep the masses distracted from the new world order agenda and what was really going on in the media because you'll be too distracted watching you know ass now is it a bad thing I mean is it a sin it's not a sin but we at the point now where we can't have impediments in this truth man to the best of our ability, man. So I, I just wanted to give that account, man, because I, I, you know, I want brothers to know that we all have common temptations, man. All right. But with that, I hope you brothers are edified. Until the next lesson, shalom.